Hello and welcome to chapter 5, part 6. In this part, we're taking a look at the win screen. Previously, we set up the win mechanic so that we can actually win the match. But instead of winning and just going straight to a white screen, we're also going to show a menu there. So this can work very similar to the lose screen. So go into the UI folder and rather than go through the hard work of copy and pasting, uh, copying the exact same code over, we can just duplicate our lose screen widget. So right click on that and duplicate and call this one win screen. Obviously the details of this is going to change so open it up so we can start editing it. First thing we're going to do is change that message. So click on that message and change it to congratulations. Next our retry button is not going to be a retry button. Instead it's going to be allowing the player to go to the next level. So change its name to uh, next button and change the text and it say next level. The quit button is going to be a return to main menu. So return button. And the quit game text is going to be a return to main menu. Now it's sticking out a little bit, that's because it's, the text is too large for it. So what you can do, if you scroll right down, you can see auto wrap text and wrap text at. If you tick the auto wrap text, it will also automatically wrap it around. I'm going to change that to a central justification so that it is centered. So now we've got that set up, I'm going to click compile and close and go into the graph. Obviously the code for next and return button is not going to be a retry or a quick game. So we're just going to delete the open level and the quick game. Click compile. We will be returning to this later. Close that. And then go into your game mode. So after the delay on the win custom event, we're going to create the widget. And we're going to choose our win screen. And we're just going to tell that to add it to viewport to render it. Click compile. And we want to add the last bit we've added here, where we set the input mode to UI only. And show the mouse cursor. I'm going to copy that and paste that down here. Click compile and close that. So now when I get to the end, the game ends and shows me the congratulation message. Now obviously the white text on the white background isn't ideal, so let's change that to a darker colour. Let's go to my windscreen and click on congratulations. Then we're going to change the colour of this, so colour and opacity. We're going to change that to a near black. Click compile and close. The text on the button can remain white because the buttons are dark colour. And there we have it. And that'll do us for part six. So join us in the next episode where we start working on our main menu. So the main menu is where the game will start and allow us to start the game. And this will also tie us into our windscreen where we can return to the main menu if we complete a level. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in part seven. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.